here, buddy. I'll show you how to clean the mullet. Get ready for smoking. Like that. Good set. Keep that right there. That's the gizzard. Cut the top off of it. Cut the bottom off of it. Right down to almost to the center. Go right around it. There you go. Let's clean the gizzard. Now I clean the mullet. Cut his head off right above the backbone. We're going to cut right through the ribs. Like that. Stick your knife through right above that tail fin. All the way out to the backbone. Take the row out. This is white row, male mullet. Flip them over. Do the same thing. We're just removing the backbone. Right above them fins. Right above the backbone. Like that. I'm going to take your scrubber. If you want to take some of that black membrane off, you can scrub it with a brush. It'll come off. You don't have to. You can leave it on there. You know what you did anyway. Scrub it off my cat. Take your water hose. And give them a rinse. Clean them up a little bit. Get some of the membrane off of there if you want. That's mostly fat. That'll all cook down. I'm going to take the backbone. Cut the tail off. Cut the top fins off. Get the few scales that are on that back piece right there. Cut the fin off. Get the top fin off. Do the same thing with the bottom fin. Pull it out. I'm deep fry these back ones. These are good. Put a lot of meat on them too. There's a yellow jacket nest around here somewhere. Clean mullet. There's a yellow jacket anywhere within a mile. They'll come looking for it. Get, can't have none. Season them up here in a minute. Let's do some more. Let them drain off like that. So we'll save these backbones. I'll fry them up there as well.
it off. Pull the guts out. Save the gizzard if you want to save it. I do because I like them. They're good. Right above the backbone. Right on down. Don't rub it out. Tip them over. Do the same thing. Right on the backbone. Here, come on. She's about all I do to it. Just scrape some of it loose, what it comes loose. Bring it with a brush. Okay. Fail off. The back fin off. You don't have to take these fins off if you don't want to. Fry. All right, we got all the mullet cleaned on the racks, ready to put in a smoker. We ended up with a uh, 11, 11 mullet. All right, got my big old fire pot here full of charcoal. I'm gonna throw some wood on it here in just a minute. Y'all tell me what kind of wood this is. That's in that other video. If you knew what this was, you know what that is. That's button wood. It's a uh, member of the like the mangrove but it don't grow down in the water it gets close but it don't grow down in it my family's used this for over a hundred years smoking mullet i'm gonna throw some of that on there in just a little bit get our spices on the mullet this is uh, old bay paprika salt pepper and garlic that's it this is an old cast iron pot and i've found it actually people are throwing it away so i figure i'll make use of it it's an old one. It's got a gate mark on the bottom of it. So the thing is pre, what, 1890 or something like that. All right, we'll get this up in there. Like that. Get our spices here. Doctor all these up. It'll take about, oh, it should take about three hours, I guess, smoke these. Just over 200, 225, something like that, for a little while. Don't take them long. All right, let me get all these done here. We'll get them in the smoker here, just a second. All right, got all the spices on them. Now it's time to get them in the smoker.
number one. Still got, yeah, get off there, I need that on there. Still got room to put one more rack here, one more rack up here on the top. Don't have nothing for that one. So I can fit 24 head of mullet in there, no problem. Set me a bunch of red clay brick in there on the bottom to, as a heat diffuser. Kind of spread out the heat a little bit so it don't go straight up into that first rack. Get this shut up. And then come down here. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna take that and throw some this button wood in there that I split up yesterday. Get some of that in there. Yeah. A few nice chunks to get started. I'll be adding to it probably one more time. I might have to add some wood to it. like it. All right, I'll shove it on back in there a little further. There we go. All right, now we close it up. There we go. Let it go for a while. Come back, check the temperature after a while. See how they're doing. All right, guys, I'll show you the finished product here after a while. Now, this is what you do while you're waiting for your mullet to get done smoking. You take them back bones and gizzards right there, got them in the bag all cleaned up. Heat you up a pot of grease. We're going to dust them with some Martha White yellow cornmeal. This right here is some homemade Creole seasoning. Got cloves and coriander, garlic, cayenne, all kind of good stuff. really like it. And then my mullet seasoning. Dust them with that. Shake them in a Ziploc bag full of with some of that yellow cornmeal mix in there. And as soon as that gets hot, you shall see where we're at here. We're up to about uh, 150 and climbing. We'll get that up to about 325. We'll drop them in there, drain them on a paper towel a little bit, and that's what we'll munch on until the mullet gets done. All right, I'll show you here in a minute once I get ready to get these going. All right, we got these spread out. We'll pat them dry a little bit. If I get some of the moisture off of them. You don't want to boil your cornmeal off of them. Then we'll take some of this Creole seasoning right here. We'll sprinkle a little bit of that on. That's good stuff. Get a little bit of dusting on. Some of it ain't got nothing on it yet. Good. Put that on there, and then we'll put a little bit of bay, my mullet seasoning I use for the smoked mullet. Put that on there. Not too much. Put on them gizzards. I'm gonna be good. Love gizzards. Love mullet gizzards. Temperature 325, 350 degrees almost. Throw some of these in here. In the shake. In the 
shake them off a little bit. Keep them running in hot grease. Away from you. That way it don't splash on you. Let's get And this is gonna be good. Put a couple more in there. See that? I don't know if you can see that. See that. Deep fried mullet backbone. None of that fish is going away. Look at that. I got one. I got one turning brown right there. Ooh. Mm hmm. You're first. <laughs> Alright. Back over here. up here with my paper towels. Let them soak in a little bit. Don't take them but just a minute. That'll be done real fast. Yeah buddy. Oh, trying to get me there. I've seen that. Alright. Go a little bit longer. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Right. They're trying to jump right out of there. Ooh. Now. Ain't that looking good? Nice and brown there a little bit. Come on. Come on. I'm anxious. I want to eat them. Here, that dude done floated up to the top. He says, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. Get you right in there. All of them starting to float up. Yeah. You ready too? Uh-huh. Look at that. Trying to squirt me in my face with a hot grease. Get out. Let them go for another minute. Mm -hmm. See that? Oh, that is some good eating right there now. Real good. last one. I think it's going to be too hot to eat. Yet. It's too hot. Pretty hot. Oh, wait a minute. It's too hot. Can't eat it yet. Uh, I think it's time to drop in gizzards in there right now. Another one. Gotta find them here in the bag. Here's another one. There's another one. I think there's one more left in here. 
Oh, there it is. There he is. There he is. There he is right there. Yeah, uh huh. pieces left. Yeah. Man, don't that look good. Make your tongue slap your brains out, it will. Alright, all of our frying parts are done. Let's try one of them gizzards, see what it tastes like. How many of y'all eat one of these? Oh man. That's right on. Tell you. Look at him. Get a hold of that. Gotta be gentle. Going back to it. Slides right off in bones like that. Yeah. There's a lot of meat on there. They are good. Mm. All the bones stay right where they're supposed to be. Oh yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Alright. Y'all have a good day. I'll show you them smoke bullet when they get done. Talk to you later. You know what makes this even better? When you grow your own lemons. Put a little bit of that on there. Oh yeah. Right out of the yard. Alright guys, it's been about three hours. Let's check these mullets, see what they're looking like. We're right at about 200 degrees. I did peek earlier. Look at here. sun on so you can see that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Man, they're looking right. I think they're just about ready. A little test there. Yeah. Yeah. And tails start curling up like that. You know they're getting done. I'm going to leave them in there just a little bit longer. Let's see. Oh yeah. Coming along nice. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Alright guys, it's time to pull these mullet off here. They still cooking about 210. It's perfect. Just perfect. Look him in there. Oh ho ho. My 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 look at that there. I done picked the tail off that one right there. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Now that is some old cracker style smoked mullet right there. Yes, it is. Mmm. -hmm. All right. Well, you seen the final product right there. Here, I'll give you a little taste test there. Look at that. You know that means it. Mmm. That is some kind of good. I'm telling you what. Don't get no better than that. Mm-mm. 
Mmm, oh. look at how juicy it is. I'm mm, perfect. Perfect. Mmm, that buttonwood gives them a real good flavor, too. That is so good. Can't we eat it now? <laughs> Alright, well. You guys have a great rest of the week. I ain't doing nothing until next year. Ain't going to work until next year. Y'all have a good week, and I'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, do all that good kind of stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.